Yo, what's going on guys? Beaker here. Today we're gonna do some clan wars. We're gonna show some epic three stars. But first, I wanna show you guys a really funny raid. So, you know, you've seen them, you've heard about them. Defenseless champions. People that don't build any defenses and they try to push up to Champions League with just attacking. Well, my friend, Frat here, who's actually from Unity Air Force, he's visiting right now. He found a base like that. Check it out. This guy's a Town Hall 9 with no defenses. He has just this baby level 1 cannon. And uh, Frat's going to drop his heroes on the cannon side there, thinking he can easily take out this base. But then, a bunch of balloons come out of the clan castle, and you know that king is just going to get slammed by those balloons. I mean, the king can't attack back. That one minion there is not going to cut it. And this is not looking good already. You know, it's crazy. This base has no defenses, but his king is already dead. So those balloons are mean, man. He's going to activate the Archer Queen ability. His Archer Queen is level 35, so she's going to take out those balloons real quick. Now he's in better shape, but the problem is... He's never going to get through this whole base with just his Archer Queen. I mean, she's too slow. He would have maybe with uh, with both of his heroes. But look at this. This dude still has those rocks everywhere. Like, this must be somebody's second account. He must be just doing this for fun. I mean, it, it probably would be kind of fun. But, uh, wow, man. This is crazy. So, dude has no defenses. He has only a few walls over there on the right. He does have some traps, though. And I didn't notice this right away. But if you look over on the left... He does have one Tesla upgrading. So Frat saw that, he put one balloon on that Tesla to take it out. Because then he wants to drop some balloons around the base to kind of speed up the process. So he's dropping them over here, they're going to target those buildings, which is going to be a big help. But then, oh no, some Teslas pop up. So we should have known, right? This guy was doing like a defenseless champion thing, but he built his traps and his Teslas at Town Hall 8. He has max Town Hall 8 Teslas here, and Frat already used his Arch Queen ability, so she is going to die. No way. Frat actually lost both of his heroes on a base with only three, well, four total active defenses. That one baby cannon and three level six Teslas. <laughs> but you know, that's what happens when you underestimate a base like this. No matter what, this was a good find. Frat didn't have to use any spells he didn't use his whole army, um, but he lost both his heroes to a Town Hall 9, and that was so funny. I had to show it, guys. Let's zoom through this. Um, at least he got some good loot, right? So, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen a crazy base like this. I've seen some Town Hall 10s like this. They just have the storages, you know, nothing else. The level 1 cannon, because you have to build that. And it's pretty cool, man. <laughs> it's I don't think I could do it, because you really need to stay online a lot. You need to attack a lot because you're going to get three star every single time so let's go over here and go down the list and we're going to look at the top two or three uh three stars that we see so right here we got number 12 who did that oh i did all right let's watch me three star number 12 um <clears throat> oh yeah i remember this so look at this base guys this guy has two of his expos pointed down and <clears throat> his wizard towers are kind of close together so i thought hey i might be able to take out two wizard towers on air defense an inferno you know the more defenses you take out the better we all know that so here i have two golems both my heroes and a few wizards going right in didn't even need wall breakers although i did bring some i ended up just not even using them i, I used a jump spell to get over the outer wall king went in i think he's hitting the yeah king got the arch queen it's so nice when the king takes out the arch queen and then your arch queen can just kind of cruise through slowly um, if she does have to take out the, the <clears throat> enemy Arch Queen, she kind of rushes forward into the like line of fire, and sometimes she'll get killed too early. So that worked out perfectly. It doesn't... Oh, are we going to get that second Wizard Tower? Oh, we did! See, that's what I was talking about, guys. I thought if I could go from the side there, maybe get two Wizard Towers. I think I said Arch Tower, but I meant Wizard Tower. And that's what it's all about. A Wizard Tower uh, taking out two makes a huge difference so now we only have half of the base here really um we do have three air defenses left but expos aren't even a problem because there's only one pointed up now we did the uh two hound deployment on the bottom with about looks like 10 balloons they're gonna rock through that inferno no problem we put the last hound up on the top with a few balloons behind it and now we just have like two balloons we're putting up top looks like they got distracted by some teslas that can definitely ruin your day because you don't know the Tesla's there until you drop that balloon. Then the balloon changes path. Sometimes that sort of can mess you up. It's happened to me before. But this time, 
it worked fine so we have a ton of balloons left they're taking out the final air defense now they're going to move up to that archer tower then the tesla and there's no stopping them now i mean look around the base we have tons of lava pups I have some goblins. I even have some wall breakers. Yeah. Not much we can do with those wall breakers. I should have like swapped those out for, I don't know, some archers or, or even another balloon. Having another balloon makes a big difference, guys. If you can fit like 21 balloons in, uh, do it. I mean, don't waste any troop space when you're in clan wars because you know just one balloon can make the difference. It really can. Um, when you come down to that last offense, Sometimes, you know, it's only one balloon that survives. So think about that, guys. The lava pups are going to go in here and take out the king real quick. Look at how many we have. Wow. I got lucky this time, man. I had a lot of lava pups at the end. That doesn't always happen. They're going to get distracted for a moment by those skellies, those ground skellies. But then they're going to move on to the last couple defenses. We killed it, guys. We killed it. Now, this was a perfect base, like I was saying, you know. It was somewhat easy to get into the core and take out that air defense archer queen and even two wizard towers which was amazing uh, i don't remember where the archer queen was stationed on this base but i think she was in the core yeah i think she was in the core right below the town hall and uh you know she was offset enough where it was easy to get her so that was i was pretty happy with that guys that was a pretty good one uh against number 12 let's check out some of the other three stars right now Let's just keep going down and see what we can find. So, well, yeah, number 22. Who is this? This is Bart getting 100% uh, here. He's number four in our clan, so you know he's a pretty high-level attacker. Let's see how it went. All right. So this time, we this guy has all of his expos up. You know, it's going to make it a little harder. But look at this, man. The dude had his Arch Queen out in the corner. I feel bad for him. Like, why did he do that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is a really old base, I'm thinking. Or maybe he just threw his heroes out there. I don't know. Like, way back in the day, people sometimes would just have their heroes close to the outside because you could lure them no matter what. I mean, a long, long, long time ago, you could lure heroes like you could lure a clan castle. And, you know, people would lure them anyway. So you just leave them on the outside. But nowadays, you can put your heroes in the core. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't do that. But nevertheless, this guy's going to get three-starred because of it. Also, his air defense placement was a little weird. These ones on the top were pretty easy to get. So now, notice, he's taken out... Okay, he's taken out an Inferno, an Expo, a Wizard Tower, and two air defenses already. Not to mention a few Archer Towers and Cannons. Wow. Wow, that's how you do it, guys. You exploit bases like this that are, you know, old, outdated bases for three-stars whenever you see them. You know, anti-three-star bases... They can be beaten, but they're harder. Now, these old bases like this, this is probably like an anti-go-wipe style base or something. I don't I don't even know. But, you know, it's easier to three-star because it's not meant to defend against armies like this. Notice how this uh, bottom section here has Wizard Tower, um, Air Defense, then Wizard Tower. It, all those defenses can be taken out. Boom, 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 boom. Normally, you don't want that. You don't want a, your, your air attacking defenses right next to each other. It's going to make it easier for the air army to just blow through the base like they did here. So, wow. Easy three star for Bart. Nice job, man. He has a ton of balloons left over. Even his lava hound is still alive. I think uh, one of them, at least one of them blew up because he does have some lava pups around the base. So, they're going to clean up real well. Let's uh, fast forward and check this out. So, he did have some goblins, but they seem to be blowing up. Whoa, now come the air traps. Guys, have you ever seen these air uh, air skeleton traps ruin a raid? Because I definitely have. If you only have a few balloons left and you don't have any lava pups flying around, those things can really, really ruin your raid. I mean, it's it's t it hurts to watch because you're like, no, no, just get through the raid, just get through. And then those lava, uh, not lava, those um, floating skeleton traps come along and, and kill your balloons. They attack your lava pups. It's tragic. <laughs> I can't stand it. So that's it guys wow nice raid by bart i'm impressed by that let's see if we can watch one more guys see what we can find down here so there should be one yeah pretty close here so by rahul we've been seeing him pretty much every clan war recap doing a three star so shout out to rahul once again attacking number 24 here for the three stars now look at rahul's um his uh, number in our clan is 17 he's not one of our highest guys but he does have max heroes and of course Max heroes, max troops, max spells, that's really all you need to get three stars. It doesn't matter 
what level your base is. So he's definitely one of our premier attackers. Now again, this base is not set up to defend against this style of attack. First off, the Arch Queen way off to the outside. You know, you want to hit up bases like that with Hog Rider armies or, you know, Gold Lava armies like this because you can take out the Arch Queen. Secondly, um, you know, there's not a lot of storages uh, surrounding the core. Storages help by, you know, keeping, keeping troops from getting in there and taking out the Inferno Towers like they are right now. He didn't have anything in the way of those Inferno Towers, so the Arch Queen just cruises right in. Also was able to take out at least one air defense on Expo. Now she's taking out second air defense. So, you know, again, like Bart's Raid, very, very overwhelming on this base. Half of the defenses are already taken out, and uh, these balloons and lava hounds are going to easily take out the rest. Let's check it out, guys. So he's probably going to wait to drop that first rage spell once he gets close to that inferno. Man, these balloons are going to kill it. Okay, so he's going to drop the first one up there in the in that mess of like Teslas and um, Wizard Towers. Probably a good move because you know Wizard Towers and Teslas they're they're some of the meanest defenses besides air defenses. So. Wow, balloons got split up there. They bypassed that air defense, but now they're going back to it, and that's it. That's it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. When you see a base that's not set up to defend against an air attack, just three-star it. You know, it's going to be a lot easier. You can easily get the Arch Queen on bases like this. Uh, you can easily take out one Inferno. It's really, you know, why this kind of attack strategy got so popular, and now anti-three-star bases are made to just combat this army. So, you know, if you see bases that aren't anti three star, aren't anti go lava, go ahead and hit it up. Any base basically that has the Arch Queen towards the outside and uh, has some vulnerable defenses like air defenses and maybe even Inferno. So, there we go, guys. Let's speed it up a little bit. Rahul easily picking up the three star for the win. We also had two other three stars in the clan. Shout out to everybody who got those. We're not going to have time to check them out today, but they were definitely good as well. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give a shout out to me and everybody in my clan for getting these awesome three stars. This was a lot of fun, guys. I had a lot of fun watching these. So guys, uh, again, leave me a comment and a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.